start number two today. Yeah, there's nothing really surprising about lighter stuff. He's going to come right at you with the fastball as you see. He pumps that in there. Side uh -huh. angle. <laughs> yep. Ball and two strikes. Wave and a miss. So a good start for Jack Leiter after a dozen strikeouts a week ago begins the day by fan. One two pitch. Caught the corner. Another breaking pitch for strike three. Leiter sits down the first two. Ball on two strikes after missing with a fastball. That didn't take long. Three hitters, three strikeouts for Leiter. He fans the side to start the day. So Evansville, nothing in its half of the first. Commodores will bring up Cooper Davis to begin. He's also a 2019 Mr. Baseball finalist, so great kid from the state of Tennessee. Back up the middle, ranging over is Witter. Safe at first. Craig tried to stretch out. Give him a little help, but no one beats it out for a one-out single. That was a pretty good play by Witter up the middle. They had him shielded a little bit towards the middle. Gets it out of his glove. But just off the bag a little bit, as you see Craig here on the throw from Witter. Has to go out to his right in the foot. Just a few inches. Count here to Martin. Hit fair. Diving play by Wilkes. Won't have a play. Another infield hit. Vanderbilt has him at first and second. First inning threat for the Commodores. Bounced up. It gets past Malloy. Or Maui, I should say. And the runners move up. Into scoring position. Deck. Ball and a strike. Hit to the right side. We'll get a run home. Sliding out to short right. Throw is in time. As Shepard was able to wing it over there to Craig. But DeBall gets the RBI as Martin goes to third. And no one scores. It is 1-0 Vanderbilt. Payoff. Fly ball to left. Schallenberger. It's the shortstop. A long run for Witter. And he made a nice play to end the inning. Better. Sophomore center fielder Evan Kari. It's the first pitch down to no one at third. And the inning is over. So the walk to Bilesmith. One pitch out as you return you. Yep. Good job by Dino to get out of a second inning jam here as he strikes out Noland. I think they're looking for Leiter to do something similar this year. Frankfurt, Illinois native Max Bally puts down a bunt. Leiter can't get a whole lot on the throw, and Malley beats it out. He puts one down. Evansville has its first hit. That's about as good of a bunt as you can get. He read Nolan was playing far back. Leiter does all he can, bare, fields it bare hand. Throws off his back foot. Actually makes it a lot closer than... Out toward the mound. Leiter's been busy, gets off the mound and makes the play to end the inning. A first hit for Evansville. Miley stranded the bat. Was comfortable no matter where he is, and that hit him. 2-1 pitch. Martin is on to start off the third. It doesn't matter where. Hit a home run. I saw J.J. Blade get a hit. This one out to short. Evansville will try to turn it to second for one. High throw. But Craig stays on the base, and Evansville gets the 6-4-3 double play. Justin Henry Malloy walked in the first. That pitch nicked him. He watched here not too long ago. Has it been that long for some of them? That one chases the left fielder Schallenberger back to the track off the bat of Jones, but he's there to haul it in and end the inning. Two at-bats before. This one. Crush back toward right. Thomas heads toward the corner and makes the play. Off the bat, looked like it might have a chance. Schallenberger is the final out of the fourth. Hard hit, deep left. Back goes Schallenberger. We'll have to play it off the big wall. And a two for two day for Young with a single and a double. Young continuing to swing a hot bat. And really just going the other way again, this time from the left side. With a little bit extra power off the monster. I'm very impressed with his bat so far. Slap to left, in for a hit. Two out damage for the Commodores as Davis brings home Young. It's 2 nothing. 
It's a heck of an at-bat, and that's a at-bat you want from your junior. Lays off the stuff outside, then finally gets a fastball that runs back over middle of the plate, shoots it to left field. Commodore is able to get another run across with two outs. Young. Right back up the middle, a rocket. Dominic just in self-defense mode. Davis going to head on to third. They're at the corners with two outs for Austin Martin. Now do they have no one trapped off first? They do, and that's the end of the inning. So a base hit, one runner left. Vanderbilt does get a run and leaves Evansville two. Another hit before today. Out on strikes is lighter. Comes back from down two and one to strike out Malley for the second out. Fly ball, right field. Thomas drifting toward the line with a play to end the inning. So lighter after issuing two walks, gets out of the inning, stranding runners at first. This ball hit high, hit deep, left field toward the bleachers. And Martin leaves the yard for his first home run of the season. It makes it 3-0 Vanderbilt. The ball was just left over the plate. You saw the little shrug from Parks. If you make a mistake with that man, he's going to make you pay for it. Been wondering when we're going to see that first home run here at Hawkins Field from Martin. You take a look at the swing. It's just a fastball down the middle. And right off the bat, Martin knew it. A beautiful swing and about four rows up. And that's some good height to it. It wasn't it, like, it wasn't like it uh, got out of here in a hurry. That thing hung up there for a while. This one bounced out towards short, charging Young. No chance at first. Infield hit for Stanley with two outs. Short lead at first as Stanley ventures off. And that pitch hits Schallenberger. Two base runners aboard for Troy Bilesmith. Runners go, and he hit him to load the bases. Not the payoff pitch. Trying to leave him full. The one-two pitch. End of inning. Kari called out on strikes. Doolin leaves the bases loaded. Whoa. Up and in from Severino Cronje. And Harrison Ray takes his base. Seen some hit batsmen in this game. Was getting back to second. He went to third ended up scoring. Runner on the move, and Ray is safe at second. Fourth steal in as many attempts this year for Harrison Ray. Vanderbilt has a man in scoring position with one out. And Ray hadn't even seen a look or even a pick from Severino Cronje, but. That one gets to the backstop, and Ray's going to move up 90 more. The wild pitch by Severino Cronje. Arm side movement. Now a payoff pitch. Up the middle. Will get the job done. Gets through for a hit. Young has an RBI and a three hit day. 4 0 Vandy. That's usually how it goes when you're seeing the ball well, putting it in play. Two really strong hits and then a little chopper up the middle, right in between middle infielders Witter and Shepard. But does a job, gets an RBI. Not quiet anymore. This one's sent down toward the left field corner. Shepard going to hustle on into second. Fairly close play as it was returned by Davis. But a two-out double for the leadoff man for Evansville. Aggressive piece of hitting by Shepard. Fastball up in the zone. He doesn't waste any time. Smacks it down. Left field corner. So we take a look out of the box. Even if you do hit it in the corner, you have to be on your horse because it's only three tent down to the corner. So an easy pickup. 
Hey, off to Wilkes. Inning over. Done that twice in a row. Doolin gets Wilkes on strikes. Just strand a runner at clear in the game that uh, would be high to everybody else. Looked like a strike. Past the third baseman, Wilkes. Jones going to turn first. Cruise on in with a two out double. Rocket opposite way. Ends up in the left field corner. Really good looking swing on a ball a little bit outside the zone. That extends those long arms. And we got to see Jones try and take two. As we see out of the box, I mean, for a guy that's 6'7, he handles himself really well around that turn. You got to think it only takes him about, you know, 10 strides before he gets to second base. And once he gets going, and he makes the most of it, hit deep center field. Giving chase and out of here. Wow. Curry thought he might play it off the wall. Instead, it's a long home run by Thomas. To give Vanderbilt a 6 0 lead, his second homer in as many games, a two run shot. And home plate umpire Matt Wilbanks is having to keep the Commodore bench from mobbing him at home plate, and that's because he worked the count. He worked the count and he finally got something he can get a good swing on. Take a look at the swing. That's with two strikes. And he hits it off the batter's eye. From a young sophomore. Very, very impressive. That's two home runs with two strikes so far this season. If they need our thoughts, they'll know where to find us. Yes. Here all season. Here's a pop-up down the left field line. Racing toward the line is Davis to make the catch and end the inning all over the country to be able to have a place to play in college baseball. Davis runs the out at second relay to first double play to end the eighth. Davis is running. Serve toward the left side. Nolan waits and Vanderbilt has a six game win streak with another shutout. Commodore six, Evansville nothing. Vanderbilt six runs, 11 hits, no errors, and eight left. Evansville no runs, three hits, two errors, and eight left as well. Leiter, Dewan, and McIlvain combined on a three-hit shutout. Home runs off the bat. Uh, Vanderbilt's Austin Martin and Isaiah Thomas, and another impressive outing for Vandy today. Next.